So for the people for the people who slept through this. <laughs> no, he said talking about the violence in school. Yeah. So basically, they have police inside the school. They have yeah, fighting going on. They yeah. even had kids who had sex in the, on the on the staircase. Yeah. Uh, people that are beating each other up. Then there is this, this school system who's trying to hush everything up and trying to make the statistics look good so that they can get the money. So this is a totally, totally, totally Miss. exceptional case. Or not made, well, this is a case that, that could be occurring only in an individualist society. Everybody for himself. Typical? Everybody on your own. It's not, this is excessive. This is really um, not average. But this is actually on the on the outlier case of an individualistic society where basically there is no social contract there is no consideration for other people's interests people only do what they want to do and i think that most people actually don't even want to do it they just um they are looking to express themselves as an individual they're not being heard they're not being heard they're not being uh, educated not being raised in a way, and the school system is basically going along with this, and this is totally breaking the United States of America, and especially people in in neighborhoods where they have these kinds of schools. Mm. There's nothing being done to actually make these kids full members of of society, and and the adults are basically just just contributing to this to to proceed, um, and uh, the, the guy who who gave the interview is like one of the a few people in the United States, I believe, that, or at least in that school, but it still has a collectivist mind and say, okay, hey, but what are we doing here? What's the bigger picture here? Is that actually we are we are ruining this 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 generation? This is ruining the United States. This is actually hurting our society. Whereas the headmaster is more conce- more interested in making uh, next year's budget and getting his uh, his bonus for uh, getting the numbers up. It's a, um, it's a, um, yeah, it's a really a terrible. Uh, but this is exception, right? Uh, this is, um, oh, this is a terrible case because actually there is another case. And that's Mr. Hester. Hmm? Ah, actually, this is uh, okay. This this is just two minutes, I think. Um, this is another case to illustrate what's going on now this guy is typically he's addressing uh, black students um, but what he's describing is really like telling it's very much telling okay what's going on in the United States and now, now compare that with Japan where kids are trying to get to entrance exams to get into the right <coughs> schools. this is what's happening in the United States actually there is a there's a there's a big group in, in, in society of people who who, who do do not buy into the system at all? So they are not even trying to pass the test. They don't, they couldn't be bothered. They don't feel part of the system. They don't want to belong to it. So they're not even trying to pass the test. Why? Because they don't care. They don't care about the system. They don't want to belong to it. They feel that they don't need it, uh, and they don't even want to pass the test to actually get into that system. So they're completely tuned out of society. What do you mean? What I mean is that he's addressing those kids and he's telling them, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, we are, we have been we've been here for a long time. We have been through very hard situations. People have fought hard and you're not even trying. We have survived as black people coming from, uh, from, from Africa, uh, going through slavery, going through very hard times. And the younger generation is not, e- when they're taking a test, they're not even taking the test. They're not even trying the to what pass the test? the test. Like entrance exams and, and, oh. and, and school exams. Why do they not take the test? Because they don't feel that they want to belong to that society. So why would you... Who's he? He's a, a kind of like, he is a guy who's in education. He has a PhD. And he... Uh, PhD? Uh, PhD. Uh, and he is trying to reach those kids. So he's kind of like finding a mode, being a motivational speaker, actually trying to reach those kids because nobody can reach those kids. But that's that's how far the problem has progressed. 
basically there's a whole generation, a large group within the American society who feel so much isolated from the society, who feel so much that they do not belong and they are not part of the society, they don't even want to try to get in. We, we see that in the United States, we see that in, um, in the Netherlands. Uh, with, with uh, especially with immig immigrants, children, second generation immigrant children, who feel that they don't get the same chances, even though they have been born in the Netherlands, they feel that they are uh, being being judged by the color of their skin. They feel that they have fewer opportunities. They feel that their parents are being. He's talking discrimination. He's talking discrimination, but he's basically talking about people who do not feel part of society. Uh, and, and he's saying, what, what, the, what the hell are you doing? You get these opportunities. We have been working very hard. We have been going through a lot of sufferings and we've survived. Now, why are you not even... Why he is rejecting the test? No, he's not rejecting the test. The kids are rejecting the test. Why are kids are rejecting the test? Because why would you want to try hard to pass a test only because you, you need to pass the test to get into the, into the system? But these kids don't feel part of the system. They don't want to belong to that system. Why? Yeah. Why? Because they they don't feel that the system is there for them. They feel that the system is there for the rich people, for the white people, for any other people, but not for the black kids. Mm. At least that's how I now in the states. Now in the states. Oh. Yeah. So that is also part of an individualistic society. They don't even try to get into the system. They don't even try to pass the exams. They don't care. They don't want to be part of it. They'll become a vlogger or whatever, or a criminal or whatever. Uh, but they don't want to be even, part of the system. Even if they try to get the uh, entrance exam, they cannot get position. Well, they, they, feel like, they feel like society is not for them. I mean, they, they don't want to belong to that society. They, don't, they feel like, oh, we will not get a chance anyway, so why why even bother? You mean the equal, equal, equal right? Yeah, they, they feel that society is not it's not not for them. They they don't want to belong to that society. Why would why would they do yeah, their best? What, what do they want? What do they want? Yeah, well, I don't know what they want. But basically, they don't want to be. They don't want to do that. That's the that's I think the. The attitude of, of a lot of these kids. I mean, you, usually when kids, when you ask them what do you want, they only they only can tell you what they don't want, and what they don't want is to. What to, they want? No, they don't. They don't want anything probably. If you ask them, they haven't thought about that. They just know what they don't want, and what they don't want is be part of that society. They don't want anything. They don't want anything. Just only frustrating. They are frustrated. They are. They. They. They, they have. They are struggling with their uh, identity. Um, they feel that uh, there's a lot of frustration. I. 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 I think that basically. What? 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 what, what apathy. But these what? kids, they grow up in schools. They go to schools like the ones that that, that guy just described, right? So uh, those are the kinds of schools where, where kids hang around in, in the classroom, where teachers are trying to make them pass, to make their numbers look good. They don't really try to educate them. They don't really try to improve the situation. They are basically just trying to uh, pass the, the time so that they can get on and at least get some government support. But they're not trying very hard to make them respected members of society or to make them uh, to, to, to go the extra mile. What do you want? The kids. Mm. Actually, this is a very interesting question because for me, as a Westerner, it's obvious the kids don't want anything. They don't have that clear of an idea. Basically, most people in Western society they basically okay they're part of that system so what you're supposed to do is go to school make your homework get pass your exam and then go to work that's kind of implicit but a lot of kids in in this case they come from broken families they come from from people who are unemployed uh, they could they come from a different backgrounds so they have different role models 
and then they say okay well my, my parents are, are, are surviving um, we are getting a lot of uh, 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 shit uh, over us so why would I want to be part of that system but a lot of people in Western society they don't know what they <laughs> you need another uh, folder 